A road rage incident ended with the car being torched after a flare gun was fired at the car's window. Jen Boniza has more. It happened not far from here. An incident that started as a minor traffic run-in got out of hand quickly and ended with a man and his dog fleeing their burning car. This is what's left of the car. The interior torched. The dashboard melted. The victim, who asked not to be identified, says he feared for his life. It all started when he saw a car heading eastbound on Alamoana Boulevard just after 10 p.m. Monday night. He says the driver was speeding and driving erratically, so he flashed his lights at the car. He says the driver then pulled in front of him and brake checked him. When he pulled up next to the car, he says he heard a bang and saw the flare come in the passenger window of his Jeep. The flare hit the windshield and landed on the floorboard. He and his dog were able to make it out unharmed, but his car burned beyond repair. According to Sergeant Chris Kim of Crime Stoppers, it's another unfortunate case of road rage. We've seen uh, time and time again where cases like this have happened where a simple traffic incident then escalates to a road rage incident like this. He says the number one thing to remember, do not engage. We advise you to not confront the other driver. Don't pursue them. Don't, don't start any type of altercation. Uh, just go ahead and call 911, let the dispatch know what's going on, and the officers will then go out there. Kim says you never know what anyone else is capable of. They could pull out a gun. In this case, the other driver shot a flare into the victim's car. I met with a boat safety expert who says flares and flare guns can be extremely dangerous if used for anything other than a distress mechanism. You would not want to be standing in front of it if somebody shot it at you, that's for sure. It's a, a glowing hot ember, you know. It's meant to be seen from miles away um, in the sky, so it's not like a flashlight. You know, you could definitely um, do some damage with it. The investigation into Monday night's incident is ongoing. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.